I'm starting a series on software made for segmented turning. As the title says, it's not just for segments, at least for me. For me, software is a tool with unlimited uses. And the reason I'm doing this right now is a little over a week ago, I had surgery on my ankle and I'm not supposed to stand. And that brings up a point, you're gonna hear a lot of squeaking in the background. That's because I have my foot elevated and I'm in a computer chair. I have to move a lot to control the pain, so sorry about that noise. So, like I said, no segments. This will be an introduction to the software starting with 3D Design Pro. So, let's get hopping. Well, on second thought, let's get rolling. Okay, I'm back. Like I said, I'm going to try to do some stuff with uh, Woodturner Pro and 3D Design Pro, maybe Segmented Pro, and I'm not going to be turning for a number of more weeks, but I, I think this might be enjoyable for some, and I know I've been asked a lot of questions about it. One question that I've been asked a lot of times is, how do I go about even starting to get a shape on this blank that has no shape at all. Well, after you turn for a while, you're going to get a feel of that. I'm going to show you how you can start out with a good idea of what you're making and not have fear of ruining an expensive blank that you bought. For instance, I looked it up at Rockler. They have some Paduke blanks. They're 8 inches in diameter. They're 3 inches thick. They're $38. If you had a chunk of a tree, maybe that's not so bad just that you got for free and, and just start turning on it until you get the idea. But maybe you want to start with this expensive blank. So I want to show you what I think is a really good way to have an idea of what you're going to make before you even start turning. And I'll show you that. We'll bring it into uh, Woodturner Pro and refine the, the shape. We're not making a segmented turning. This is nothing to do with segments, but I'm going to show you how you can use both of these pieces of software just for like if you have a, a chunk of a log to make something. This is called 3D Design Pro. Inside of here you can import images. You can have an image of a bowl if you wanted. I find it harder to trace around the bowl because the bowl is kind of got a rounded shape on the bottom and you have to kind of cheat a little bit to get what you want. So this is just nothing more than a sketch. And how you get that is you go up to Tools and you click on that and you say Background Photo. And I'm going to add a photo here. And I have one that has a sketch in it. Right there. And uh, that sketch is really nothing more than what I put on here. And what you're going to do is drag this over so that it's centered right there. Now, this is the top. I don't know where that line went that was up there, but we don't need it. We're not going to go beyond that because this is now 4 inches this way and 3 inches that way. Up on the uh, list of all the different icons we have, there's one that looks like a pencil. I'm going to start in this corner and you don't want that pencil to disappear. You want to still be able to see it. We're going to click on that. And we're just going to sort of follow this little sketch that I made. And just try to hit on it somewhere. This is all adjustable after we have it. It's pretty easy to just follow this. And we're going to get up to the top. And we already have a bowl that looks like that. So I'm going to turn it this way. So that's mounted on the lathe. You chuck over here, and there's your shape. You're just going to cut that shape. You're cutting away this little corner here and leaving that. Let's go ahead and add the rest of the dots and make a complete bowl out of it. And for, for designing, this is, you wouldn't even have to go this far, but we want to bring it into Woodturner Pro where I can show you how to see everything a lot better and refine even more. I put that last one on here. If I right click on that last one and say close the spline, that just closed it. So now it's all connected. 
and what I like to do and you wouldn't have to but you right click that and say anchor point and we're gonna make this an anchor point and you actually have to get a hold of one and say anchor point and now you have a drag tool up here it's just like a set of arrows crossing and then just drag this up to square it out and not critical that you get that but something like that all right we sort of have a shape here you can do some refining right now by just grabbing those points and just move them a little bit see how I just smooth that out here's your bottom you can make it look like it has a foot on there uh, you can add some dots more control points there <laughs> all right so now we can move that and so now you sort of have a little foot see how you can do that if you don't like that you can take it away so I'm gonna bring this into Woodturner Pro and again we're not making segments but I'll show you how you can set this up to even see it better so when I do that this kind of looks like a globe it's up in your little menu click on that and the icon for Woodturner Pro starts blinking and you click there and uh, I want to change this here because when you scan something it's not necessarily in scale but I know that I have an 8 inch blank so if I do that and now everything just kind of went into scale there's the shape we have in order to see this a lot better I have figured out that I want to make those narrower less thick I'm going to make it a quarter of an inch okay so that is going to help me with my design better now we need to add more rows when you click to add a row by default it's three quarters I want to make it a quarter of an inch we're not making segments I'm just going to be able to show you what this looks like okay and also this is set up for 12 segments I can only go down with two this will also make it look like a solid bowl not segmented all right now we just start adding rows and we should stop at 12 and that's that's 12 and I push this up higher you saw that I did that that's okay we can drag that back down to match your blank like so and this can get filled out by going up to the right upper corner and say snap the profile so there you have what that shape looks like and when I show you the front view it doesn't look like a lot of segments it's just two segments and you only see that line so that's kind of what your turning looks like at this point in time if you actually want to do some more refining then we'll grab this little icon here that lets you pull these down to there now we have a little better looking base on it and this is just for your benefit of being able to see what you're doing here so that's uh, that's about it now if you want to see what it looks like as a uh, rectangular shape the way your blank is before you started I can change that row to three inches thick that's what it would look like right here so that's uh, that's your blank right there and if you cut all that away uh, we'll see we lost a row here but now we have it back so that's kind of what it, we hope that it looks like when you turn it all right that's uh, that's about it and how about we uh, turn this into a segmented turning next week and we can also show you how easy you can make an open segmented turning out of this we can use this one or we can make a whole new one if you'd like so let me know and uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I appreciate you watching and until the next time I'll see you later
I'll put updates in the description on how my ankle's doing. So this is a little slideshow of a segmented turning I've already done, showing you how you can bring that into a 3D Design Pro, get a shape, bring it into a Woodturner Pro, and you'll have the segments you want and all the information. So let me know if you like this. If you want to see the Segmented Pro software or maybe the Lamination Pro software, I've got lots of time to do it. And as you can see right here, this is what I do all day long. I just kind of sit here and then sometimes a friend comes along. So I'll see you later.